How do I practice without a drum kit? Hi, I'm Felipe Drago and welcome to Drago Drums. This is the number one question when people call me asking for drum lessons. They say, I don't have a drum kit, how do I practice? And I say, that's easy, that's how I started. So my first question is, do you have two chairs? They say, yes, everybody has two chairs in their home. So that's why I have a chair right here. So why you need two chairs? You sit on one and then you get the other one and put it right in front of you like that. If you're right-hander, you're gonna play the hi-hat with your right hand. And so you put the backrest of the chair this side. If you're left-handed, you do the opposite. You put the backrest on this side. And if, like me, you play open-handed, all you do is put a little bit in front of you so the angle is a little bit better. But let's go with the standard right hand on the hi-hat. If you're my student, you will have this book. This is the book I wrote for beginners. It's called Play the Drums. So let's use first unit, unit one, to show you how to practice without a drum kit. As I said, the hi-hat becomes your backrest. So exercise one on page eight, quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, okay? Exercise two. Now we're gonna add the snare. This is the snare. The seat of the chair is the snare. Exercise two on page eight on the book, in the book, play the drums. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then comes exercise number three, where we're gonna use the bass drum. Where's my bass drum? The floor is my bass drum. So here it goes. Exercise three, page eight in the book, play the drums. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then exercise four is where we put everything together. Snare on three, bass drum on one, and the hi-hat play one, two, three, four, all quarter notes. One, Okay, then we have the coordination exercises that involves playing the hi-hat with the foot. So the other side of the chair is your hi-hat. Obviously, the floor as well. So exercise number one on page 10 in the book, Play the Drums, it's right, left, right, left, quarter notes with the hi-hat with the foot. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Good. You only have one chair. You can sit on your bed and put the, front, the chair in front of you. You have no chair. You can sit on the bed and play air drums. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. See? We can always find a way. Is it great? No, it's not. I'm not gonna lie, it's not great. But it's better than not practicing. And even better, to, than not doing something you want to do because you don't have a drum kit. The other thing is, I bet that not far from your house, there's a rehearsal studio. So if you decide to have lessons, you practice as much as you can with the chair, air drums, on your legs, buy a pair of sticks and start practicing on your legs if that's the case. One, two, three, four. Again, it's not great, but if you practice as much as you can in your house, any way you can, chair, air drum, legs, go once a week to a rehearsal studio near to your house, book one hour and practice on a real kit. Let's say you have lessons every Saturday morning. So you practice Monday through Thursday, any way you can, chairs, air, legs. Friday evening, you go to the studio. It's a real kit, they have symbols, and you practice for one hour everything you've been practicing during the week. By Saturday morning at your lesson, you're gonna be amazing. You're gonna progress a lot, trust me. And then it's all gonna be exciting because you're gonna be progressing, you're gonna be having fun, and you will be thinking about buying a drum kit in no time, right? Great, I hope you liked the video, I hope you liked the idea. 
subscribe to the channel, press the bell to get notifications. See you next time. Bye.